For the last few weeks, we have been driving around the beautiful state of West Virginia and visiting different towns, facing our fears and climbing a Via Ferrata, hiking, and so much more. And for our final adventure in West Virginia, we've driven south to explore the New River Gorge, an area of the state that is popular for hiking, whitewater rafting, and beautiful views. The New River Gorge was definitely the most recommended spot that people said we had to come to while here in West Virginia, and we can totally see why. We normally don't like to see new spots before we film them, just because we want to film our genuine reaction, but we got here a little early yesterday and got a little sneak peek, and it just made us even more excited to explore this place. But uh, it's kind of a gross and rainy morning, yeah. and the forecast is like 100% rain all day, so we're gonna cross our fingers that we can actually show you some of the gorgeous views. <laughs> Starting our day off at the Long Point Trail, which is about three miles round trip, and it's supposed to have gorgeous views of the New River Bridge Gorge Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the key word is supposed to. We'll see. <laughs> Out there getting some epic views already. Yes, you can actually see something. <laughs> Not a bust. So the river down here is the New River, which is what the area is named after. And ironically, despite the name, it's actually one of the oldest rivers in the world. And it's very unique because it flows from uh, south to north as opposed to north to south. And that's because it was formed before the mountains. We made it back to the van. We had to put the camera away because we were getting absolutely soaked. The camera was soaked, it kept fogging up and everything. So to not ruin our camera, we just hustled back to the van. We are basically just three wet dogs now. We are <laughs> drenched, but one of us is especially dirty and needs to get a bath real quick. Or I guess a shower. So normally when Kona needs a bath, we try to wait till we're at an Airbnb or someone's house because she doesn't normally get that dirty. But that was the second time she's ever taken a van shower. It's very hard. She absolutely hates it, but she's a lot cleaner now. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled adventure programming. We're gonna head to the town of Fayetteville for some coffee, some delicious food. Here we go. All right, we grabbed ourselves some coffee at Wood Iron Eatery. This place is so dang cute. So it's basically this old house, not this building behind me, <laughs> different one. This old white house that's just tucked away behind like the main strip of town. It has just such a cute, cool, kind of hidden little vibe. We couldn't go inside, so we can't speak to how cool it is on the inside, but the outside was pretty. Yeah, it's a super bummer. You can only, you can call in your order and you can sit outside, but it would have been really cool to go in, but whatever, still got it. <laughs> so I got a Spanish latte no I idea what's in it it just sounded like it'd be fun so i thought i'd get it <laughs> i got a dirty chai i'm pretty sure i know what's in this chai and espresso I'm getting raindrops yeah and then coffee. raindrops in it so. <laughs> yeah with extra raindrops 
Oh, wow. No, wow, this one. Is it good? Yeah, it <laughs> really smells good. really good. I still have no idea what's in this, but it's really sweet and tasty. We bought a box of chai tea for the van and we actually are gonna finish the box now. We never finish our <laughs> tea boxes, but we've had them, so I've been hooked on them lately. So I, I never get tea drinks is my point, I guess. So I got this one, but I had to add a little bit of espresso in it, it's so good. You gotta try this. I wanna know what you think. I don't know what's in it. It's just sweet. Does it taste very Espanol? Si. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's really good. Yeah, it's really tasty. It tastes kind of chocolatey, does it? I don't know. Milky and chocolatey, the milk probably from the latte. I just had but... to really wing it since we couldn't go inside. <laughs> they also have delicious looking food, but we're gonna head to a different spot that came very highly recommended to us to grab some lunch. It's a secret though. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. So Fayetteville, the town that we're in, has such a cool vibe. It has this really cute little downtown area with a bunch of shops and restaurants. It's a very outdoorsy culture. There's a lot of rafting in the area, hiking, just tons of beauty. There's a bunch of gear shops and even a van conversion shop. But one of the things that kind of surprised us the most is how many solid restaurants there are in such a small town. But a bunch of people told us that we had to come to this spot and we're gonna let the secret out. It's the Secret Sandwich Society. So pumped for this place. Oh yeah. So they have sandwiches and burgers, which I guess is technically a sandwich because it's between bread. So I got what's called the Timberwolf. So this is a, a beef patty there. There's bacon, American cheese, jalapenos, and a smoky barbecue sauce and crispy onions. It's been sitting here a little bit, so they might not be super crispy, <laughs> but still gonna be dang tasty. And then these are their uh, society or secret society fries. And I got a sandwich called the Ladybird, which is grilled chicken, pickles, a chipotle mayo, and I actually think I can have their mayo, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Some bacon, lettuce, oh my gosh, it looks bomb. It's on a gluten-free bun. And then I upgraded to get the sweet potato fries because I love sweet potato fries. And it's actually, most of their sandwiches are named after presidents. So they like the Roosevelt, and Adams, then the Adams, Wilson. <laughs> other president names. <laughs> but we actually got like the two sandwiches that are not, unless there's a president Timberwolf that we have not heard about oh. yet. <laughs> That is top notch. It's meaty, bacony, cheesy, a little spicy from the jalapenos. The sauce is a little smoky, a little sweet. The bun is really good. This is a 10 out of 10 burger. This sandwich is the bomb. The chicken is super good. It has this really like nice peppery flavor, but the sauce on there, like the chipotle mayo or whatever it is, gives it like a nice like smokiness kind of spice to it. It is so good and, and of course bacon makes everything better. It's kind of falling apart. It's been like Adam said sitting here for a little bit but it just has really 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 awesome flavor. And it's grilled chicken so it's healthy right? <laughs> Thank you to everyone for this suggestion. This is definitely hitting the spot. The bomb delicious. Nailed it. So the New River Gorge is actually managed by the National Park Service and we just headed over to one of the visitor centers to check out the New River Gorge Bridge Overlook to get a closer look at the bridge we saw on our hike this morning. So some quick fun facts about the bridge. It is the longest steel arch bridge in the Western Hemisphere and the third highest bridge in the United States. And when it was built, it turned a 45 minute drive down steep narrow mountain roads to a one minute drive straight across the gorge.
So there are two different bridge overlooks. There's the upper overlook, but if you keep following the little boardwalk and steps down, you'll get to the lower overlook. And, and I'm panting because it's 178 steps down, and then 178 steps back up. <sighs> Also, they have this thing called the bridge walk where you actually can walk like on the underside of the bridge. We saw some people gearing up to do that. Sounds really fun, but I think we've had enough adrenaline with the Via Ferrata for a very long time. And they have this thing called Bridge Day, which is the third Saturday in October. Unfortunately, they're not doing it this year for obvious reasons. But on Bridge Day, you can pedestrians can walk across the bridge. People like rappel down, people base jump off of it. Yeah, still too much adrenaline for us, but it'd be really cool to see. Oh my gosh, that drive was absolutely gorgeous. Probably the prettiest fall drive we've had the entire last few weeks we've been in West Virginia. The colors were just crazy. I just, I can't stop smiling. So we drove to this area called Babcock State Park, which was maybe like 20, 30 minutes away from where we were in Fayetteville, because I saw this photo of this old mill with like a little waterfall and a river, and it just looked so picturesque, and I just knew I had to come see it. This is the most fall picturesque scene I've ever seen in my entire life. Ugh, I can't stop freaking out about it. So there are hikes and other things to do at Babcock State Park besides just seeing the grist mill, but we have one more hike we wanna do today and it's back towards Fayetteville, so we're heading there now. We were just kidding about the hike so we actually tried two different hikes the first one was called beauty mountain trail and it's kind of a more of the under the radar it's not on all trails it's not a lot of information online so we get there there's no parking area there's no trespassing signs they don't seem like they don't want you there but it is a thing you can find the little green trail on the map but we just couldn't really find it couldn't find a place to park so we X that one and then we were gonna go to this other one called Endless Wall and we were driving down there and the parking lot looked really tight and it looked like there wasn't gonna be much parking for us to do it. So we called off that one too and then it's also starting to rain a lot harder. So it's two hikes, we gave them a try, it didn't work out. So I think we're just gonna go get more food. Another spot that came very highly recommended to us, Pies and Pines. So this pizza place actually started here in Fayetteville, but they've now expanded to some of the neighboring states. So it's kind of a chain, but if you live in some of the surrounding states around West Virginia, check and see if they have a location near you so you can try it for yourself. But this place is kind of known for having unique pizzas. So we got one pizza that's a little weird and unlike anything we've had, and another one that's a little bit more normal behold the deliciousness so we got two pizzas both on gluten-free crust this is the more normal margarita and we added pepperoni and then this special beautiful thing here is a grape and gorgonzola all right we have to try the weirder one first to be honest i don't really know if i've ever had gorgonzola cheese but i heard this was really good so i figured let's be adventurous and try it mmm 
First off, this gluten-free crust is absolutely delicious. I had heard people say it was the best gluten-free crust I'd ever had, and I can agree that's probably one of the best ones I've ever had. It's super soft, not too crackery. The gorgonzola kind of has like a bitter taste, as I think gorgonzola does. But then there's a freshness of, I think, the rosemary on top, and then the grapes give it just like this nice juiciness. So it's just a really, really interesting flavor combo, but it totally works. So that's a super unique flavor combination. So the cheese, the gorgonzola cheese is super rich and kind of funky and earthy. It kind of tastes <laughs> like blue cheese kind of, I guess. And then the grapes, it's like a pop of like freshness, kind of sour sweetness that mixes really well with that rich flavor. And then, yeah, the gluten-free crust is really pillowy, soft. And then on the edges, it looks a little burnt, a little crackery and, and crisp. I think it's impossible to go wrong with a margarita pizza, especially with pepperoni on top. The fresh basil is just ugh, amazing. I love fresh basil on my pizza. The sauce is super good. Yeah, it's it's classic. You just you can't go wrong with it. It's so good. Yeah, this one is just classic. You get all the flavors that you want from your classic pepperoni pizza. It's all excellent. There's tons of things we didn't get to do in the New River Gorge, but we can still see why it's one of the most beautiful and most popular areas in West Virginia, even in the rain. <laughs> Next time we definitely want to spend at least two days in the area. One day was not enough. There's just so many outdoor activities similar to all of West Virginia. Just tons of nature, tons of outdoor activities. We'd love to go whitewater rafting next time, which is super popular to do in this area, especially this time of the year. It's apparently some of the best whitewater rafting in the U.S. Love to go see more of the state parks, go on more hikes. So we will be back. <laughs> And unfortunately, that's going to do it for our time in wild and wonderful <laughs> West Virginia. So we're going to continue our fall road trip south. So we'll see you in a new state next time.